So, a few days ago, I made the video in response to the issue in Toulouse when eight of us walked out of the Toulouse Burlesque Festival because the French burlesque artist Fafa made a tribute act to Nina Simone using blackface. Um, and my response was uh, an emotional one, a personal one, and it was important to put out because it was... Um, it was from the perspective of me being the only black burlesque dancer, the only black person there. Um, but I find it's, it's interesting because um, black people in general, we're not, we are very strong people, uh, but we're not allowed to be very emotional people. We are known to be angry, the angry black woman, um, but to be sad, to cry, to do those sorts of things, we're not supposed to show our emotions. Uh, but on a personal level as well, it was too much for me to put out. I felt like it was too, it was too vulnerable. It was just too much for me. Um, and I find it really interesting that that I'm I'm, confl I'm con conflicted in how to approach this and how to talk about this. Because I think that it is important that as a black person I put this message out. But I'm also fully aware um, that I'm light-skinned, so I have the light-skinned privilege. And I think that really also came into play quite a lot there because I think people had to, could easily forget somehow that I'm black or this sort of, oh, she's high yellow, so it's not really relevant. She's not really black. Um, but I am. Uh, and uh, when Fafa came backstage, uh, with her self covered in black paint and that Brillo pad afro. I lost my breath and I, 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 I was speechless. And I was afraid that it was going to go unnoticed. I assumed that people were going to overlook it because we overlook a lot of cultural appropriation acts. Um, so I was so grateful that the the other seven um, voiced their opinions and came forward. Um, and the producer's reaction, I, I think we took that in in different ways. I think everyone was uh, uncomfortable. Everyone was um, a bit fearful for the aggression that we were receiving. But on my end, there's a special kind of feeling it comes when someone of white privilege comes to you and tells you that you are wrong, that you are making problems, that you, as a black woman, this is not racist, you don't know racism, and I, I don't know for me personally if they come to me with this because I'm not black enough, so I can't really be offended as a black woman, and that's why they think it's okay to attack me that way. Um, but the feeling of them pointing their finger in my face and telling me that I'm blackmailing them, that I am, that I'm wrong, that I'm too politically correct, that I'm being too American, um, is so, it's a special feeling. You, you are, you are enraged and you are silenced and you are, you are marginalized as a performer. You are demoralized as a person of color. Um, and you have this, this anger and this responsibility and, and you are so very alone and you might have support out in the world, but you don't have it at that moment. And, and, and it's fear, it's straight up fear. Um, so I didn't post that video because it was too much emotion and I didn't want it to come across as, oh, poor me, poor black girl. Um, I also didn't want to post a video where I got angry because I didn't want to fall into the angry black girl. Um, although I think rightfully so, I have that, that ability to be that at this moment. But I can't really find a proper way to do this. I can't come to you with tears saying this hurts my feelings. I can't come to you angry saying, how dare you? Um... I can't even come to you with the facts like Russell Bruner did with the, with the video on why blackface is wrong. I can't come to you with any of these things 
and I can come to you with all of these things. I can't come to you with any of these things because I get typecast and prejudiced immediately as being that, that, or that. Like there's some sort of singular way a black person should react or should feel and I... For me personally, it's, it's a combination as it is, I'm sure, for everyone else, but this idea of, of when she comes to me, think, I'm me thinking, do they, do they get that I'm black? Am I not, am I too light skinned? Do I need to tan myself more? Do I need to, do I need to be more stereotypical? Uh, and I shouldn't have to either way, but when she came backstage and said, oh, I know that your father was a Black Panther. This is for them, this is for you. And then skips off. Um, the amount of rage and and speechlessness and, and the belittlement and the deep, profound disrespect um, is palpable. Um, so people told me I should make a video uh, to share my black experience in this, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure how to do that. I I thought I did, but I. It was to show you the face of this is what it this is what it looks like when this happens. This is how we are affected. This is what it looks like when we are discriminated against. When there's racism against us. When they throw it in our face like that. Um, so that's why I didn't post the other one. But I guess in in essence, this one as well is the face of what it looks like when they do this. I am I am sad. I'm angry. I'm not surprised. I'm shocked. I'm I'm all these things, and it comes into my personal my personal history, um, my my ancestry. Everything is comes forward and comes into play, and it the mixture because I'm mixed it is is a a combination of do I have the right? Do I not have the right? It's all of these things. Um, so basically, you all need to find a new way to celebrate our culture, to celebrate other cultures. There's nothing wrong with enjoying our culture. It's amazing. But in 2017, you should know better. Blackface is not okay. Um, so that's, that's my thought.